Hey, my name is Joe Ross, and in this video, I want to teach you how you can eat more and train less in order to reveal your body's most phenomenal appearance by using simple strategies that you can implement on a day-to-day -day basis that make life absolutely amazing. So one of those strategies uh, that you can use is something that I'm actually currently doing right now, uh, such as the Fast Life Fasting Protocol. Um, intermittent fasting is absolutely one of the most advantageous strategies that we can use to make life absolutely incredible while amplifying the benefits of losing fat and building muscle because with intermittent fasting we allow ourselves to set up that specific period of time where we access our body's fat stores more effectively than ever before um, and intermittent fasting allows us to have incredibly satisfying and delicious meals because of the calorie buffer that we would have to be able to enjoy uh, a great amount of food later in the day. Uh, we can make a, our meals more flavorful and uh, more decadent um, than we would be able to have on a regular strict dieting regimen. Uh, and you'll get to see one of those meals later, but um, another benefit of intermittent fasting is when we choose to train in a fasted state, we can successfully uh, improve body composition by reducing the amount of fat mass our bodies have uh, and improving lean mass. Um, because when we choose to supply ourselves with the optimal nutrition to support muscle growth, aid in elite performance, and improve hormonal health, uh, the nutrients in the foods that we eat after a session of fasted training are better absorbed to the fatigued cells that have been simulated through a session of training. Uh, so we'll take a look at a couple of the um, training protocols that you can use such as reverse experiment training and straight sets to maximize your rate of gaining lean mass um, while reducing the amount of fat mass so that you can reveal a seductive and very, very attractive look. Um, so I'm going to enjoy my fast and hit the gym here in, in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to show you one of my favorite shoulder exercises. This is going to be the overhead barbell press. This will help you build incredible shoulders. Um, we're going to use reverse experiment training in order to maximize muscle growth, um, training in the ranges between one to six and six to 12, because training with loads above 60% of your one rep max is required to trigger all muscle fibers relating to the largest motor units. This will help you limit your time in the gym and help you build incredible muscle mass. So I'm going to hit my first set here and show you what it looks like. Okay, so you saw that I struggled a bit with that last rep. Uh, usually you don't want to do that. You want to try to strive to achieve enough reps so that you can successfully re-rack the weight without having anybody help you. Uh, that will help you maximize strength gains. Uh, by following one rep shy of failure, it will allow you to go to the gym fresher than ever before and improve strength massively. And really you would only need the first set in order to maximize muscle growth uh, because when you train with a weight that's above 60% of your one repetition max, um, that creates myofibrillar hypertrophy, which creates a denser protein that builds a majority of the muscle strength, size, and thickness. So this is how you can limit your training to make your diet effortless so that you don't ramp up appetite and you're not training to kill yourself in the gym. You're always improving to build incredible lean mass. So I'm going to finish up two more sets of this, lowering the weight and increasing the amount of reps um, because that creates more hypertrophy, which then allows you to create more muscle growth. Um, you really don't need that many sets. One or two will do it if you're training with a weight like this. This is an easy way to train for you to effortlessly build the body of your dreams. So I made it home from the gym, and uh, this isn't a typical strategy that you essentially would need, but you're gonna wanna have the knowledge about how much food that you can actually eat 
and uh, how food is perceived naturally uh, with the meals that you choose to have on a daily basis. So what I did is I weighed out myself a pound of steak. Um, previously it was in the freezer and I just took it out, marinated it, and I have my potatoes. I just weighed them and I overshot the calories that I thought I would be consuming um, from my calorie total. So I can actually have a little bit more food in this meal if I really wanted to. But uh, I'm gonna keep my calories low because I would like to have some drinks tonight, maybe a few more um, since I won't be having the estimated amount of calories in this meal that I'll be having now. So I weighed my potatoes and I'm going to weigh my cheese. And the most fundamental thing that you want to have in your diet every single day of your life is you want to provide yourself with the proper amount of nutrition. You don't have to be super, super optimal in the nutrients that you take in throughout the day um, because the overall calorie deficit is what aids in fat loss. But you want to have a proper range of protein, carbs, and fats to optimize muscle growth. Uh, support elite performance and optimize hormonal health because you can actually lose your sex drive on a diet and you can lose muscle if the protein um, isn't sufficient. So I'm going to cook this meal and I'll show you what it was. So here's my meal and we have some balsamic glazed steak and veggies with some feta alfredo garlic cheese fries. So all these foods are absolutely incredible to eat and they provide all the necessary nutrients that my body would need to promote satiety, energy, muscle growth, um, and aid in releasing neurotransmitters such as serotonin, dopamine, and all the essential benefits of improving hormonal function. So I'm going to enjoy this meal very, very slowly over the course of however long it takes me to eat it. Um, because when we take our time to eat meal, we can actually trigger fullness hormones that shut off appetite for continuous hours after we have a meal full of all of these essential nutrients. So uh, I'm going to slowly enjoy this. And But really, you should choose to eat foods um, according to your body weight um, that require an optimal amount of nutrition to improve hormonal health, which would be 30% of fats and you want to get most of them from healthy fats such as monounsaturated, polyunsaturated and saturated fats. Um, trans fats do nothing in the body. They actually can cause damage if they are overeaten on. But um, the next thing that you, that you want to have is at least 45 to 50 percent of your calorie intake come from carbohydrates um, because carbs are excellent to improve the um, regulation of neurotransmitters and releasing neurotransmitters that help you feel relaxed, fully focused, and optimize mobility and brain health. And then protein. Protein can be first or last, but you need an essential amount of it to repair all tissues of the body and uh, aid in balancing fluids. So they're all essential and you only need a required amount for your body to use them optimally. And you, your body will use them optimally from any food source that you choose to provide to your body. Um, so I'm going to eat my meal. Maybe we go out for some drinks later. So I'm getting ready to go out. Um, and I'm having my first drink here at my house. Um, this is about two ounces of coconut rum, which is pretty low in calories. Um, but uh, this is altogether about 120 calories in all. Um, but alcohol in moderation provides incredible health benefits. It actually prevents the risk of developing age-related and cognitive-related diseases. Uh, it actually helps improve longevity and uh, improve insulin sensitivity, um, which aids in helping mobilize fat and uh, improve, improving body composition. Um, there's studies that show that lean individuals um, drink moderately and it's better to moderately drink than to not drink at all or to abuse it. So um, I'll stick with the middle there. But it, it's really incredible because uh, 
you get a lot more drunk easier when your body is in a calorie deficit when you enjoy alcohol um, and it's easier to cut yourself off because you really don't need that much alcohol um, to feel the way you want to so I'm going to have a few drinks tonight and then I'll show you what I'm having for dessert okay so this is going to be my last meal for the night uh, this is a few pancakes with some raspberry cheesecake ice cream and a little bit of black raspberry jam and maple syrup so this is going to cap off my nutrition for the day and allow me to effortlessly build the body of my dreams so that was if you like that video that was how to naturally improve sex drive improve body composition and cognitive function using the fast life fasting protocol and simple strategies that you can implement on a everyday basis so i hope you like this video please leave a like and subscribe and have an excellent day oh yeah yeah every time she walk by every time she walk by every time she walk by i be like there she go